Hello, Jelly Molds. Boy, is that out of focus or what? What's going on here? What's going on here then, eh? Excuse me. I have to repair this. Alright, let's be trying this again now. Going. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, jelly moulds. Time for a, a chat about today's episode. You know, I like keep telling you money, money, money. Everything's about money. I had to pay for the application form. The hassle I went through because Sunday yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> And uh, some, some people are fortunate enough to get a Sunday off here in Vietnam. Anyway, I went to the police station, lots of hoo-ha and carry on, and they ended up saying, oh, you come back tomorrow. And after I went to the hassle of getting the hotel manager to get the, one of the staff to come down and escort me to the police station, and then they turn around and say, I'll come back tomorrow. Typical. So, I uh, go through, jump through all the hoops for them, get the form filled out, filled out, blah, blah, blah. Goes back this morning, and the copper, the head, was a female, and oh, a cold, cruel, fucking feminazi bitch she was too, you know? Oh, oh. Fuck the, the look on some of these Vietnamese, oh, you know, the coppers, but anyway, it's a female. <laughs> you don't expect that from a bloke, but anyway. Sitting there, half on the Murray, trying to keep me one eye awake, you know. <laughs> Kept staring at the telly, moving around, look, look, look. You know, to keep me mind busy so I wouldn't nod off in front of these coppers because two I see sitting right next to me watching, watching the bloody television set. So, the hotel, the security guard came with me to the cop shop this morning. He buggers off and I'm sitting there waiting. I'm thinking, that's going on here, thinking oh, I'm just waiting for a stand. But, you know, he comes back with the, the, mo the motel's uh, registry book, see my name in it, checks it, then turns around and says, come back two o'clock this, this afternoon. <laughs> Get it. The security guy says, I come back. Time I, you know, I didn't gel what's going on here. But anyway, I'm soon to find out. Afternoon comes, four o'clock. Oh shit, because oh, I fell asleep on the bed. Races down, he gives me the form. And then he turns around and says, Oh, what, what do police 10,000 dong, right? He said, Yeah. He whacked it straight and he skyrocketed, I guarantee it, 100%. So he's charged me for walking down to the cop shop to pick up the form and to bring it back. Gives it to me. Then I goes to get my passport, because I've got to get my passport to take it to the immigration. Mood turns up. <laughs> Out of the blue, funny enough. Do -do 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 at work here, I just rang him and couldn't get through. Next thing he turns up here, six cents is worth it. But I digress. I goes to get the passport. Well, they turns around and says, because, see, they keep the passport as security, so they don't piss off, so they with the bill, not paying the bill. So she wants the, me to pay for the bill. Fair enough. So I pay for the bill, hotel bill, up till today. She gives me the passport, jumps on the bike, goes back to the, goes to the immigration. And of course, Mun's pissed off. He's drunk 15 beers. Not that. Now, I could smell the grog on him, but I didn't know until we got back later that he'd had that many. So, he gets to the immigration, walks in, 
and I didn't have the patch on the eye, and it was weeping like crazy, you know? I'm thinking, oh, these cunts are going to think I'm fucking hot in face here. Anyway, there is a line-up, like they, they do have those machines where you collect the tickets, you know? I looks at my ticket, and I checks the number of the person that's in, in, in the office. There's two working right in the office, by the way. <laughs> And I'm last on the end of the queue. Naturally enough, I said to one out and wait out the front. Five minutes. Well, 40 minutes later, I get in to see the guy. And fortunately, you know, he speaks a little bit English. But I, I'd done my homework and, and I, I said hello. Xinjiao. You know, he says, Xinjiao. And I plumped myself down and sort of looked at him, looked him straight in the eye and I said, Vyom, right? Vyom means it's infection. And uh, I said, Bien, Bien, oh sorry, Bien, Kon Mut, Mut, Mut means eyes. Gon Mut means eye. <laughs> Weird, two words to say one, but anyway. I, I'm looking at the other guy, because you know, everyone's buggered off, there's just me and the two coppers here. And um, he says, ah, you've got a doctor. You know, he speaks a little bit of English. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is not so bad then. So we're chatting away. I, in broken English, I said again, I'm here for the dentist. I just want a, a week extension on the visa, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no problem. And actually, I was quite surprised because these two motherfucking sons of bitches were fucking bad looking cunts, but they turned out to be quite pleasant. I think they felt sorry for me because I'm dead, dead set. The fucking the waterfall was just pouring out of my bloody eye. So anyway, I got that sorted out. Bugger off. Come back on Thursday, pay for the extension. So then we jumped back on the bike back to the motel. And that's when I get back and I find out Tom at the door, the door security guy bails me up for the 10 grand, you know, for walking down to get the visa. So it goes, everything, money, money, money. They want to tuck it in, mate, they charge you for the air you breathe if they could. Anyway, that's all I'll get away from the living here. I'm, uh, just cleaning up, just about to have a shower, get my buddy nice and clean. Have a dead day. And, uh, I thought I just had a, a little chat with you there. And uh, see, see the bananas? I mean, there's an old lady down the corner. Nearly every day, I say nearly every day. I buy a bunch of bananas off her. Because the poor old cunt, you know, she sits there under a little bloody snow cone hat all day. You know, pe people are selling bananas and that all around her. You know, she sits there and, you know, I, I spot a battler, you know, every time. And so I do the ritual just about nearly, there's that word again, nearly every day and buy a bunch of bananas. I don't even bother to ask her how much, because I know I can get them for half the price, but it's like a donation, and I buy the bananas and give her the money. I don't just, I just give her 10,000, and she gives me a bunch here, sort of. Uh, and she, <laughs> she wishes I bought them off her every day, because the days, you know, sometimes I've got two bunches of bananas here, you know, I can't eat them or sit down and have a session on the bananas for a couple of hours. And Al was right about eating bananas before bed, when you go to bed. I had horrible nightmares the other night. Sitting there eating a heap of bananas, whilst, <laughs> whilst sleeping, or half sleeping, I woke up in the munchies and hooked in. So anyway, I give the old lady 10 grand every, every day, just about. Yeah. Something for her. You know, I feel quite sorry for this bit, you know, because they fucking sit there all day in the stinking heat. I 
mean, they are used to it. But, you know, they sit there all day and make nothing. So, I do my mother's raisin buying the bananas off her. And these are the bananas. But getting back to what I was going to say, is if you don't eat them within two days, they, they turn a lovely shade of black. However, if you look, they are beautiful, juicy, ripe bananas. And, um, much like the lady thing, the bananas we get back home, but nowhere near as sweet. I mean, these bananas are just a um, big um, The skin on them is so thin. It's, it's like a glove, you know? But, I mean, I mean, you, can't, you can't see it from there, but believe me, it's only a couple of mil thick, not like ours. Big, thick, bloody, woody bananas we get back at home. And I haven't had any hairy grapes either for over a week. I think the rambic hands are a bit seasonal because a couple of weeks ago everyone had them, they were everywhere. Now I'm out looking for people to buy them and don't know what's got them. So I'm a bit disappointed about that. Bambi fans are beautiful. And <laughs> they're so cheap. Like, they're about 40 cents a kilo. Now, back home, I don't, I don't know, but they they're have to be around, oh, might be more than $10 a kilo. But it just shows you that the price of some things here are still dirt cheap. Despite the fact that in less than 12 months since I've been here, the price of everything has doubled. You know, at least 40% stuff's going up, even in dentists you now. You know, <laughs> but the cost of the filling, you know, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I had seven enamel fillings done. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. That's not from them shit amalgam friggin' things either. All right, this is for bloody new beaut. You know the the laser hardened enamel fillings. So really good. Anyway, I did get a cement one up the back here the other day. Uh, was cement, but it's white cement. It's not. Uh, excuse me. That horrible silver stuff. Ooh. No, no, repeat. Anyway, I will. I will just have one more. One more at here, Nana. Whilst I'm chatting in there, and then I'll leave you to it, people. And oh, it's quiet here. Al's gone, and it's. Uh, it's just not the same. See so sitting there on the Murray. <laughs> on the Nuz. I've got some really good shot to tell me. <laughs> the big smash in of his face. And uh uh, it's sort of quiet, quiet without him. Uh, it has saved me a lot of money. Oh, a lot of this, that, the other. The money go a bit further. Keep, keeping, him in, keeping him in bloody drinks. Oi, the lad, he can go through the bloody lolly water. Oh. He drink, he drink at least a minimum of half a dozen cans a day, and I'm trying to tell him, you know, look, it's one third of that can is sugar. You know, he did lose a lot of weight, but you know, all that sugar he's pouring down his throat, he could have lost twice the weight. But anyway, I ain't going there anymore. Um, well, just in, I wrote just a couple of more quick final postcards. Kaiser, Kissy Lips, Samara, and old Lizette. 
an old girlfriend. I haven't seen her for many years. Many, many years. I'm going to get in there and get my eye. You know, my eye. I'll give you some. An eye rinse. Since this, well, the other day, Al got Sam got put, poured some water in it. And boy, it made a hell of a difference. You know? just, it gave me a bit of respite for a day, a bit, with my eye, but it's gone back to how it was. And, you know, I, you've got no idea how bad this freaking thing is. I mean, you can't really see on the camera, but there's no white in my eye anymore. It's just totally. And when I look, it's just a blur. You know? Like, <laughs> I know what it's like to have um, pterygiums now because it is dead set like being in the London fog. You know? All you see is blurred images. God, God help us. Oh, if I lost this, this side, which I thought I did there yesterday, got some ash in my eye. <laughs> oh, no, that would be just the. Blind in one eye, can't see up the other. The old saying goes. Apart from that, what else can I never on about just for a minute while I finish this? Cigarettes. Cigars, cigarettes. The television, I'll just give you a quick. <laughs> Half an hour ago, I'm sitting there watching the telly. Boom, the show about to eat and comes on. <laughs> Well, it was just about food, my dear, food. The show went for about 10 minutes. Next thing, boom, up comes the rainbow test pattern. This, this, this country is just crazy with the censorship. Now, let me tell you this. Last week, I've been telling now about this 9-11 thing, this uh, documentary in plain sight that gives a whole lot of unanswer unanswerable and unanswered questions about the 9-11 crash. Well, we're sitting there watching this thing. We went, went, went through one one or two video, mini, mini clips of, uh, about the shop, about the crash. Boom! Next thing, the screen just goes blank. The friggin' sensors they even spy on what people watch on the internet here. And if they don't like it, mate, it's gone. Sense it. Boom. Off. And I thought, oh shit, next thing the bloody cop is going to be kicking the door in. <laughs> thinking that we're fucking terrorists or something, you know? So anyway, come up here, clean the place here. We've got to be para for a while about getting visits from the law. But, Getting back to what I was saying about the television, anything on the TV that's about Vietnam, cut it. Sometimes you don't even get to see, like the show will come on, National Geographic, blah, 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 Discovery, you know, I was naming that geo, comes on, you sit there, boom, you don't even, like, you get the credit, you know, the introduction to the show, straight off. But like I said before about the cooking show, they're fucking banned cooking shows for fuck's sake. And there was another one on, like this afternoon, about um, fishing here in the Mekong Delta. Fisher, fisherman family, fishing stuff. And that went off, boom. So, uh, these, these commies, they're, they're, they're really down on anything about the country. I mean, even if it's something good, I mean, Christ, the, at that cooking show that was on, it was, you know, it was positive. And so was the, uh, that fishing show as well, about, you know, um, the family, how they're growing up, you know, living on the, living in the Delta region, fishing, <coughs> blah, 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 excuse me, and all that. I mean, I talk about overkill, but, that's what you get for being in a communist country. It's crazy. Anyway.
Anyway, it's good to have a look at these smiley teeth. I'm very happy about my teeth. Trouble is, one complaint. Up the back, they, they, they had, because they put another tooth on up the back here, they extended the plate three quarters of an inch. And to support it, they, there's a bit of a, a ridge, and, no, not a ridge, an extended lump that's on the back. And it's sort of like, I've got a mouthful of bloody cotton, and it's sort of, you know, I'll hopefully tomorrow to get used to being there, you know, get that way. But it has been somewhat just uncomfortable. Anyway, right at the very moment, that you and Grady show's on. This is another thing. All the shows that I've just seen on uh, Ostar back at home are all being repeated here a couple of weeks later. That's a bit downer. Watching. And talk about repeating. At least at home they repeat the shows every oh, six to eight hours. Here, every bloody two to three hours, you get the same friggin' shows on. Again and again and again. It's, uh, all right. <laughs> and that's another thing. The shows that are on, far from the sense of anyway, so. Uh, there's very little to watch on TV. I mean, it is a, uh, an Asian country. They've got 80% you know, of the shows in Vietnamese. <laughs> and uh, even like our movies, they've got the movie channels, a couple of movie channels here. And uh, you've got the English with the Vietnamese subtitles on the film. And, and uh, those shows. <laughs> They've got uh, really strange mannerisms, Asians. You know, we got particularly great degrees. You know. And the acting. Oh, the acting. Oh, boy. Oh, there's lousy actors. But they're they're cool. And you got. You've got the Korean, Japanese, uh, I said 80% Vietnamese shows. We've got one Australian channel that gets the footy, and Al used to say, I don't even fucking watch it because every afternoon, actually, we haven't had a storm for two days. Something is, oh no, we have one yesterday. But uh, we get the ritual afternoon storms it's always on when you want to watch something on the australian tv and the television is just uh, you know it's like listening to the radio you know listening to the radio and watching the, the bars and um, i did get to watch a couple of games of footy on the weekend that was good the australian channel it's a it's a mixed bag, you know. You get ABC, Channel Nine. I don't know if they get any seven, but you get some shows on Channel Ten. So it's just a compilation of all of the commercial Australian channels bundled on this um, Australian something on Wednesday play. Meanwhile, down on the farm, old MacDonald was being bastardised by one of his pigs. Oh, no, sorry, the pig's bastardising old MacDonald. Here. Oh. Here, listen. Oh, this is, this is Chinese. This Another Chinese show. This is the 
Hong Kong, Hong Kong World Weather. Uh, Dacha, that's his good heaven. He gets. Peter. Oh, here we go. Australian Channel. Peter's a bit evil. Just got right. That's how another way I can tell. Why did you say that Wiking is a new игрушка? Channel on and you can see. Australian network, Australian network, that's it. Must be a bit of storm yeah. coming because there's a we've only got the black lines. Hello and welcome to Day Mellow. Oh show that brings Jack. We've got Hong Kong TV with Asian uh, Melody. Melody talks very good English. Continuing our look back at the Day Mellow Live to the World concert that we held here in the summer. Oh, she's been raised in America. This bitch. You can pick that American Yankee accent a mile away. Oh, here's the Japanese show about uh, fishes. Wujiao 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 Wujiao